Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Friday, March 22nd, 2013, TGIF. Hope that you're having a great day and hope that your weekend shapes up to be wonderful. Please find a seat on the Liberty Bus and we will commence with our tour. First today we will visit Sir White Knight. I have not been aware of this blog for very long. I think it actually might be a newer blog since uh, the archive starts in 2013. So I'm just kind of uh, acquainting myself with this, but this is an interesting blog. It, it, it uh, supposedly is with a DHS insider, an interview that was done. And basically, I'd say it, it contains a lot of the information some of the, the things that Alex Jones talks about that the plan is for something to drastic to be to happen to the economy some kind of a economic collapse at the same time probably another mass shooting and then maybe a false flag something like that that will culminate in that are actually engineered to culminate in civil war so if we can be wise and have an understanding of what's going on, by God's grace, we should be able to prevent that from happening and not play into their hands. Lord, deliver us from evil. Cyprus bank insolvency crisis quickly escalating may set off EU bank again. I've had a lot of articles about Cyprus this week. What's going to happen? I don't know. Best case scenario, I guess I would hope that perhaps this is the beginnings of a global financial reset. That is positive news for people who are holding other currencies, but may be difficult for people who are depending on the dollar. There might be a um, some kind of a period where it's, there's a lot of financial stress but ultimately if, if we can shift away from the kind of currency we have now fiat currency as my husband likes to tell me is not essentially bad or it can be managed in a way that it serves people well it just hasn't been but if we can get our economy on some kind of a meritocracy that's that's just where the people who work harder are paid more that that's very over much of an over oversimplification but the Bible says a lot about enjoying the works of your hands and having the works of your hands being your reward if we can get into a system that well, and I don't even like the word system but if we can begin to formulate economic relationships whereby we do benefit more directly from the work of our hands. I think I think everyone in the world would be better off. Hopefully that's not too idealistic. Obama's cybersecurity plan monitor more of the internet. I just tossed this out here as kind of a heads up. I'm sure you probably all know this is happening but more and more companies are beginning to comply with government requests for information and less and less of your activities online are private so just be aware of that learn how to talk to some hackers <laughs> learn how to step outside of that getting a, a private VPN there are a couple ways to do that that's that's something that you can do a start page search for not a not a Google search first lesson one is stop using Google sheriffs ready to defy Colorado governor won't bother enforcing gun control that's cool right hopefully things play out that way as 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 and if states try to take away gun rights. Hopefully sheriffs will stand up for the people and say no. Fluoride cocktail, the elite's elixir of death. 
and uh, <laughs> these teeth <laughs> remind me of something from uh, Steve Martin's dental office in Little Shop of Horrors. So we'll skip right past those awful teeth. One thing I wanted to note here, there is enough fluoride in a tube of toothpaste to kill a child. So that label that says keep out of the reach of children, that is not a joke. And who really keeps their toothpaste out of the reach of children? Everybody leaves it on their counter, right? Or in their drawer next to their sink. There are a lot of toothpastes that do not contain fluoride. If you have some time some Saturday, go to a health food store and just wander around and check out all the toothpastes that don't have fluoride. Some of them have great ingredients like myrrh, frankincense, some of them have colloidal silver, some of them have grapefruit seed extract which is antibiotic, antifungal, and antiviral. And you can really find some wonderful toothpaste. You'll have to pay a little more, but probably worth it. I know it's worth it. Junk food is engineered to addict you to chemical ingredients. Yeah, you know those cravings you get sometimes. That's, that is planned and engineered. So like the photo of the avocado, eat an avocado. If you're trying to get away from trying to eat less dairy and you're addicted to cheese, trying to eat less of unhealthy fats, avocado is very satisfying. If you have to go on a detox diet, it's one of the most satisfying foods and it helps you to not have the cravings for the bad stuff. Just eat an avocado. Take a break, 20 ways to keep your prepper mojo. And I did want to gear down a little this morning on the tour and have some sites that are maybe not quite as amped up or intense for the moment. I believe in Sabbaths. God said to, to rest one day a week. I believe that our bodies are designed to have rhythms where at a certain point we need to rest. So to do that you really need to get sometimes get out of the mindset of constantly wondering what's going on, being concerned. Yes, we need to be vigilant, we need to do everything we can, but if you don't take a break, you'll lose perspective. Following our 20 ways to take a break prepper style, there's some great suggestions. Visit a farm, go camping, unplug from the computer for 24 to 48 hours. I usually try to do that on Sunday after I check my email, of course. <laughs> a lot of great suggestions here. And curl up with a seed catalog and a notebook, play with a pet, watch a movie or series marathon with the family, opt for something inspiring like Red Dawn, Jericho, or another survival flick. Maybe you can watch this on Netflix or a video so that you don't have commercials. I think that getting rid of commercials is one of the most significant aspects of turning off the TV. Another suggestion for relaxing, improve your brain with music. Get into some music and hopefully it's upbeat or has good lyrics, maybe even some meditation music, some nature sounds music while you're falling asleep can be really helpful. Here's just a little good news, not as a lot of these others are suggestions for things that you can do to take a break. But here's just some good news. Bee venom kills HIV cells. So if you that's maybe a good way to take a break. Find out, read about how to have bees. Keep bees. There are so many health benefits to honey and other even the venom, as you saw. Here's a suggestion for kicking back. Wash radiation, heavy metals, and other health-harming poisons down the drain 
with a detoxifying soak. Therapeutic baths are simple, inexpensive, and effective in keeping the body and spirit in top form. So another possibility for relaxing this weekend. And here's some great news and a suggestion for relaxing. Chocolate really does lower your blood pressure. Dark chocolate is always better and you can go to even a lot of grocery stores have organic chocolate, organic guilt-free chocolate that's not that it doesn't have any slave labor or children working in fields till, you know, from dawn till dark. Chocolate enough said, right? I could have just pointed at the picture and said chocolate that would have been enough for many of you certainly would have been enough for me she who will walk in the dark is very glad of your company thanks you for joining in this tour hopes that you have a fabulous weekend and that you get the opportunity to take some of those suggestions for relaxing the dawn is coming <coughs> Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I hope your weekend is filled with love and joy and peace and liberty. And maybe even a little justice thrown in. <laughs>